Oh, if you have a little one in the house, we have a story you definitely need to watch right now, especially if you're worried about the germs that may be around your baby. Earlier today on Local 15 News at 5 o'clock, we showed you how we tested common items like cell phones and remote controls and found all kinds of ick all over them. <laughs> Well, tonight we're testing baby items like pacifiers and toys to see what's on them and what cleaning methods get the job done. Yeah, Local 15's first time mom, Andrea Ramey, shares the results in this report. You know that saying, knowledge is power? Well, when it came time to find out what was on my 10 month old pacifier and on some toys our assistant news director brought in, I found ignorance really is bliss. <laughs> Children touch a lot of things throughout the day. <laughs> things that have a lot of germs on them, and much of it winds up in their mouths. We all know it's kind of gross, but just how gross, how icky are their binkies, their favorite toys? To find out, we took them to the University of Mobile to be tested. There's probably going to be quite a bit of mold in here. Assistant professor of biology Dr. Larissa Walker collected samples and put them into petri dishes. Days later, we went back to see the results. Surprisingly, the pacifier my son had used all day wasn't too germy. Hardly any growth in the petri dish. Even after a day of dropping it on the floor, sticking it in his mouth, not having that it in a bag, still not that bad. We also tested different cleaning methods like pacifier wipes. We did find that pacifier wipes did make a difference. What about boiling water versus the dishwasher? Here's the side by side comparison. So when I boil it, that's what's happening to my child's pacifier. Exactly. And when I stick it in the dishwasher, that's, exactly. that's the result. I think a lot of times we think of boiling as killing everything, um, but the case is, is many bacteria are very resistant to heat. There's so many microbes already in our water. Mm -hmm. And so unless we're adding soap or some other type of chemical to kill those microbes, water itself is very rarely, uh, even with boiling, will not be enough. And how about those toys Allison Kelly's kids love to play with? We sampled a ball, a stuffed doll, and a toy car. So this toy car is nasty. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Walker found fecal matter on it. And it was quite a few of them, too. If you look at it in the light, that whole half of the plate is just covered with sort of this slime layer. The ball wasn't much better, but not quite as bad as the toy car or the stuffed doll. The doll was by far the worst, and it also had fecal microbes present on it. Giving a whole new meaning to Pooh Bear. His name is Winnie the Pooh. No, that's so <laughs> gross. Ugh. Yeah, I'll definitely be uh, wiping down the toys and cleaning them a little more often, I think. Walker says that's not a bad idea. We know that things like rotavirus and other um, diarrheal type diseases tend to spread very quickly in daycares and schools for exactly that reason, because they survive on these toys, the children share them, they put them in their mouth, uh, and that's why those sorts of diseases are very contagious. But it's not something you really like to think about as a parent. No judgment. You know, if we sampled your kids' stuff, we'd find some icky things, too. Walker says we shouldn't be too obsessed with wiping things down. In fact, it's important children are exposed to microbes so their immune systems develop. But Walker says every now and again, wipe off surfaces with antibacterial cleaner. Back to you.